Hello everyone, and welcome to the Do-It-Yourself Gourmet. Today we are making lightly fried fish fillets, the finest of fish nuggets, made with a meaty, firm white fish. Cod works well, as well as rockfish. Stay away from tilapia, it cooks a little bit too fast unless you stay right on it. So let's get into it. You're going to want to grind the ingredients coming up. The fish dry rub mix, a tablespoon of onion powder, teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon white pepper, quarter teaspoon dry dill, half teaspoon safflower flour, quarter teaspoon a half teaspoon coriander, and a half teaspoon of black pepper. Now, all those ground up inside of a mortar and pestle is a great way to go. If you have a spice grinder, otherwise it totally works. Uh, just make sure you don't use the one that's used for cannabis flour that they call spice grinders, because you might not get the right one there. What you're going to want to make sure you do is make sure you mix everything evenly. And that means layering the fish in between the dry rub seasoning and mixing it up nice and completely so that it's all there and everything touches on the fish. Next, we're going to add up the wet marinade. That's going to be two tablespoons of fish sauce, a tablespoon of coconut aminos, two tables, two teaspoons of lemon juice, and two teaspoons of oil. I do recommend either grapeseed or sunflower. It tends to work the best for this fish and holds especially well when it's time to add the dredging and flour. You're going to want to let this sit for 15 minutes for best results. So make sure you do that before you coat it inside of the flour. Now, moving on to the flour, there's a lot of more of uh, leeway when you get into the flour. You're going to want to use as much flour as you need. All-purpose flour is great. Add a little bit of cornstarch to make it crispy. Also, a uh, quarter cup of rice flour gives it a nice good crisp as well. Then you're going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt, maybe a little more depending on what you have going on there. This happens to be a cup and a half of flour and then a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, quarter teaspoon of black pepper, a little bit added in there. The turmeric helps to add the even color when it is all nice and fried at the end and it works great for an earthy flavor to match with that fish. You're going to want to make sure you mix it well before we get into the part where we start dredging it. And after the 15 minutes, we're going to do that. We're going to take it and coat it inside of the flour. Now you can be kind of just whatever, toss it in there. Not too many at once. It has to have a little space to move around because you don't want it packed in there and forming a paste. If it forms a paste, it's going to stick to it. And then when it sticks to each other, it's going to peel it off on one side and that's just not going to work. After you have them all mixed up, put them, put them aside in a bowl. Make sure when you're handling the larger bits and you cup them and you're going to shake that flour off that you handle them nice and gently so it doesn't break any fish and so that the fish nuggets and the fillets are done just right. This works both for nuggets and fillets depending on the size of the fish that you cut for enjoyment. Now if you get a little bit of a bigger fish, make sure that you have that flour and tap it down extra. When the heat is ready, you're going to want to have either grape, grape seed or sunflower to fry it, and canola works great as well, but you're going to want to have it at about uh, 375 degrees Fahrenheit in order to get that fry going just right. And you have a little test bit you can do there to start. And make sure they're all in, give them room and set them aside from each other so that the oil has room to bubble around it. Because again, if you get too many in there, it's going to mess with the temperature and you're going to have to adjust the heat and it raises the chance of it burning or getting over toasty and overcooked. To not overcook it, you're only going to want to cook it about, about two minutes on each side, maybe a little bit less. you got to watch it. It depends on the thickness of the fish. Now about a minute and a half in, you're going to turn them over and see that they're breaded and that the coating is starting to get nice and brown. When you cook it, you'll notice the fish shrink a little as they react to the oil when you're cooking it. And after another two minutes on the other side to make sure they're cooked, you're going to start picking them up after they've had a chance to do their do inside of the oil. Now the oil, you got to make sure that there's space in between there. and that's one of the keys to making sure that these crispy fish fillets come out lightly fried and perfectly crispy. Now when you take them up, use a chopsticks or another gentle tool, that way you don't break the flesh of the fish. Doing so would not be cool. And then put them all inside of that basket at the end once it's had a chance to cool off and you've got yourself some lightly fried fried fish fillets. Do it yourself gourmet everybody. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.